Welcome back, Indie Game Fanatics, to another first look video. In this one, we're going to be checking out Soul Ash. My name is Renaud Nado, and if you enjoy these types of gameplay videos, please make sure to leave a like and uh, drop a comment down below for uh, what game you would like to see me check out next. Soul Ash. The villagers murder bunnies, milk cows, or exterminate gods. Solash is a traditional turn-based roguelike where your goal is to consume the souls of the living, conquer the vast fantasy world, and decide its fate. Solash is a solo developed and published game. I cannot pronounce his name, but his first name is Arter. Um, fantastic developer that I've socialized with on x or twitter uh for several at least several months now um he sent us keys to both his first game here soul ash which was released in 2022 and also a key for soul ash 2 which is currently in early access on steam um i'm going to have a link for soul ash in the description down below and we're going to take a look at both games this weekend one after the other I want to check out the um, progression of his game design and development aspects, as well as the fact that these are some... So this one's like a traditional roguelike. The second one is more of an open world style game. So it'll be really cool to see how both of them play out. Tokyo, why do you always got to be like this? Love ya. Izzy, can you just sit on the back of the chair? Thank you. Alright. So, let's check it out. You've got options. You've got the graphics here. Tile size. Interesting. Animation, camera shake, sound. Pretty simplistic designs here. Alright, we've got movement keys. WASD and QEZ for rotating, move up and down. Okay, inventory I, crafting panel C, V for book of abilities, M for world map, O for options, J for tutorials, and there's a cheat count console, but only in debug. <laughs> All right. So we'll, we'll figure out more of these buttons as we go. I just wanted to see what the basic commands were. Very uh, nicely set up. Ah. Huh. Or module with graphical tiles instead of ASIC2. This mod will override previous mods on ID console collisions. Interesting. Core, you were once the god king of the dream worlds, but a new pantheon of gods dethroned you. Mortals have forgotten about you. The divine strains your soul and its incredible power. As you diminished, your chains were no longer able to hold you. You escaped into the mortal realm seeking revenge and destruction. No deity has set foot here for eons, but you changed everything. Soon, new gods will come for you and the world will burn. Interesting. All right, new game. Difficulty selection, you've got easy, normal, and hard mode. Uh, we're gonna go for normal. Normal difficulty is how the game is meant to be played. You'll begin your journey in a frail mortal body and use primitive equipment that can barely survive a serious fight. You'll be hunted down by everyone who can sense your dreadful nature. Eventually, you'll grow in power, burn everything to the ground, destroy other gods, and change the laws governing this world. I feel like I'm loading up a Morrowind. <laughs> All right, so we've got statistics, abilities, races, items, professions, and recipes. Interesting. Obviously, we're going to go with our name. Um, I don't know what I want to do with statistics. Let's look at the race options. We've got human, dark dwarf, 
Goblin, Dark Elf, Vampire Troll, Bone Wraith, Lizard Man, Demon, a Racimi, or Cat Like People, a Lich, an Orc, there's more, and Golem, Abomination, a Djinn, Noam, and a Mushman, Mushroom Man. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just go with human for now. I don't want to mess around too much. Humans are were the most common being in the world once, but these days are long gone. Population decimated by the constant wars. All stats plus one. Gets hungry 50% slower. Requires 10% less souls to level up. Items, knife and bandage, and recipes fishing rod. We got necromancer. Nomad. Nomad sounds interesting. Berserker, Warlock, Poacher, Fallen Knight, Altist, and an Inquisitor. Fallen Knight sounds pretty good. So is a poacher. <laughs> no. Do the different races have different professions? No, this is just the professions available. So we'll start out with a knife, a bandage, fishing rod, wooden shield, mace, and a whetstone. Uh, abilities, we have bash, but these are all other ones that we can unlock. Play the game and advance to discover this ability. It will unlock when you choose it during level up. Okay. And these are the recipes we'll be able to learn. Goat skin, bandage, stone knife, stone axe, stone mallet, primitive bow. We can make ingots of all the different kinds, wheat flour, bread, and fishing rod. Okay. And then statistics, can we, yeah, we've got five points we can play around with. Uh, strength improves physical damage by one for every two points. Axe, sword, mace, unarmored. Roof chance to parry, increase available carry weight, reduce the time required to mine and cut trees, reduce extra cost of stamina when dragging items. Endurance, Dexterity, Intelligence, and Willpower. Since we went with uh, Fallen Knight, we're going to do some points into Strength, Endurance, and uh, a little bit into uh, Dex. Yes, I'm a warrior build type player. All right. Banished from my own home, imprisoned for eons. Here's my little guy. So we've got Bash and Bandage. Let's look at our character sheet. We got the wooden shield. I like the detail, so we can hold up to 30 weight, it looks like, right now. There's item slots for literally everything. Shirt, armor, cloak, neck, head. Not sure what that one is. That is a lot of information. Pants, greaves, boots. We have resistances to a bunch of stuff. We've got combat. And our stats. Okay. Hold left shift to look. Boiled elven ears are considered to be a delicacy from some, by some races. Corpse, liquid source, 100% blood, butcher, weight, rotten grass. That's right. WASD to move. Wait. Um. That is not intuitive.
I guess. So because it's two dimensional, WASD move forward means move up, move backwards means move down, and then left, right. So no. Oh my God. So the orientation of our character is this. So for my brain's sake, we're gonna do How did I get these two move mixed up? Really hard to tell what you're trying to press here. It's a little bit better. I see a rabbit. Tutorial J to open the tutorial. All right. So you have taken the role of a forgotten god that has escaped the dream world into the mortal realm. To survive in this place, you had to take over the body of Renona Do, the human fallen knight. Your goal is to steal souls from powerful mortals to regain your strength and challenge the new pantheon of gods. Your character is represented by the tile you can find in the center part of your screen. The game time moves when you take actions only, so don't rush and try to familiarize yourself with the screen. Make sure to read the dialogues to learn more about who you are and why nearly every being in this world is hostile towards you. The first thing you do is to create a safe spot in this hostile world. Try to clear a small area of weak mortal pests for venturing forth and explore, learn, die, and try again until you conquer this world. Inventory screen, picking up items. When there are items on the ground in a range of one tile, you'll see a small pickup window on the right with their icons. You can click on the item icon to pick it up. Some items might be too heavy, but you will be notified in the message log. You can see the current carry weight at the bottom of your backpack. You can also drop items you don't need on the ground by selecting them. Inventory screen pressing the D key. Okay. Yeah, if this movement's too confusing, you can change the directionals in the key maps. Roguelike, Soul Ashes. Soul Ashes is classic roguelike. Some of the features you can expect here are challenging, turn-based gameplay with permanent death. Where your character dies, you save game is deleted. Solesh is a big, consistent, and open world with many types of locations to explore. You can go wherever you want to, but if you don't have an idea of what to do, you can look at the world map, press M, and go to one of the indicators. Oh, wow. I'm just a little tiny speck in this world map. All right, let's see if we can uh, get ourselves a bunny kill. No, we almost got it. Because of my bad button pressing, it's getting away. Uh, no. Get the bunny. Almost, almost. Oh, this is a different bunny, isn't it? It is. We got one cat corpse. <laughs> uh oh. What's up with that? Back here. 
don't have enough stamina to do this. Try resetting. Ooh. Um, sleep until evening? Or just rest? What is fighting me? A sheep. Jeez, um. How do I, how do I select to butcher it? Get some meat out of it? I have no idea. Consumed the soul of the sheep and gained through experience. You don't have enough stamina to try the resting. this. Teague is the orange bars. Describes long-term energy loss. Interesting. Sheep corpse is too heavy to pick up. Can we skin it? Alright, I got 15 wool off of it. I'm still having issues with the controls, but I think it's because there we go. So I wasn't facing the way I wanted to. Got our salsa here. What's this? Structures. Aspen wood. Recipe for a mask. And we got some cooked meat. Empty vial. Orientation is a little is definitely gonna take some getting used to the way you're oh out of stamina. Let's go ahead and sleep here. <laughs> How do I see like hunger thirst? There we are. Hunger and thirst. Why did sleeping not actually recover my stamina? kind of weird. It's too heavy to pick up. I mean, obviously. You can drag the item or open and close the bed. <laughs> we sleep here at the bed. Does that work? Alright, so it's just a little tiny room. Oh my. Still having a real hard time with these controls. <laughs> Another bed. used for cooking can withstand high temperatures. 
Why is my guy not happy about this? Uh oh. Somebody's detected us. Human farmer. Apparently not happy with us. Got a scythe? I think I do more damage than he does. The most basic form of combat is melee fighting. To attack someone melee, you have to walk in to your target. Two attacks if you have a weapon in each hand. If you have a ranged weapon like a bow, crossbow, or throwing weapon, you can attack enemies at range by pressing 1 and selecting your target. Or T, sorry. It's a lot of reading small script with my contacts in. Probably not the best way to do this, but... Other than regular attacks, there are special abilities. Typically, you'll start first with your first ability. Yes, so that's where we want to use Bash, right? of a human. Got ourselves a uh, pile of bones. Nice shirt though. Resist frost and resist nature one. I don't feel like I need the cat corpse, so we're going to go ahead and drop that. Interesting. Okay, so you want to let this get worn down, but yeah, our, t our weapons and stuff eventually have to be fixed. The reason I'm resting right now is I know there's another person out there. Yeah, I see. Another person. Go ahead and uh, rest until healed. And then uh, sleep until the small hours. Since they're not approaching. Oh, no, oh, here they are. That's alright. We're all rested up our skill book. Command allies. You can command your allies to attack targets in selected positions. Move there if no targets available. Why do I have this skill? When do I level up? Crafting menu. Need to find some stones so we can make some tools. Got ourselves a straw hat now. Shirt of the Prophet also gives us four intelligence. Well, that's pretty nice. Scissors of Equilibrium. It's two willpower for some scissors. It's also considered a tailoring tool. Alright, so we got ourselves a better shirt. And we got ourselves a straw hat. That's the hat slot. I guess some uh, fire resist minus five, so it makes us more likely to be flammable, I guess. Because it's made of straw. 
logic checks out. Resist frost. This doesn't, though. Resist electrical. <laughs> Alright. I ain't here to ruin y'all's days, but stop messing with me. Oh boy. Rest. Hello. Oh. This whole village just wants to fight, huh? Well, it ain't getting too well for you, buddy. Why is he hissing? Alright, he had a wooden flail. None of these guys wear pants. <laughs> what is this? Altar to the god of farming. Okay. I gotta explore some of these houses. Since, you know, the villagers are dead. Oh, there's a bed. Need one of those yet. Oh wait, what was that? Another bed. What is that? A cow. Interesting. Oh, that's just more beds. This village bores me. Oh. I'll leave you be if you leave me be. No? Okay. Well, I warned you. I think there's another guy coming up on me, though. What are you, a bat? God, I can parry, because this bat is annoying. <sighs> Alright, back into the village. I guess we are going to use their beds. somewhere else nearby exclamation mark yes we did figure that out all right sleep until the small hours all right that's my guy all red Discovered map, inventory, skill book, still nothing, tutorial. Alright, so yeah, we got a village here that we're destroying. Oh, another structure. Nobody else wants to fight. They're trying to run. Ooh. One's trying to run, the other one's trying to fight me. I'll go ahead and uh, head the other way. Whoa, 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 what was that? Bees are attacking me? Are you kidding me? Why has the bee got so much health? I think it makes sense. I might not be able to kill this bee. Is 
Please make this make sense. How did you get in here, B? <laughs> oh my god, there's people in here now. And I'm stuck between the B and the person. Oh, I'm so screwed. Pair. Oh my god. Alright, uh, we'll kill the bee first, I guess. Whew, that wasn't good. Sleep. Sleep until healed. Might be a little bit. That was very unexpected. Reminds me of Stone Shard. Oh, there's the cow. I can see it out the window. <laughs> All right, we need something to drink. How do I find something to drink? I've got food here that I can eat. I haven't found anything to drink yet. I haven't even seen water. I need water. That's probably why my guy's looking all red because he's gonna die of thirst soon. The hell is this, a wolf? Why is there a wolf here? <laughs> I have to fight the wolf. Is that a well maybe? I hope so. We're gonna we're gonna go check that out. But first we gotta kill a wolf. Oops, did I just bandage? Yes I did. hurts. Oh man, we broke our main weapon. <laughs> Alright, Wolf, you're getting skinned. to fix our mace. Our shield, we had to salvage it. Oof, our shirt and our hat are both getting worn down. I need water. Press X and select water to clean yourself up. There we go. I'm wet now. Can I drink? Oh, oh my guy needed that so badly. All right, let's see if we can get the hell out of this town. Oh, oh my God, more people. You're all just gonna die, so I don't know. Oh, we got an owl man coming at us too now. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Blazing linen pants of annihilation. He had a dagger on him. Oh, well, gonna lose our shirt soon, but at least we got some pants. Hey, how much uh, just walking around uses up the stamina? What's up, Owl Man? Oh, what's this? Fish Man. He's wet. Blurp. Fish Man's coming for us. 
All right, you want a rumble, fish man? Bring it on. How'd that work out for you? All right. It's an interesting world, but it's also a very populated world, like to an odd degree. <laughs> Well, can't rest anymore. Random guy ran up to me again. Now we're getting attacked from both sides again. Bye, Abby. I'm sorry, but these bees are so ridiculously strong. The bees are insane. All right, let's try that again. Okay. I want to get up to where this exclamation mark is, see if we can find out what's up here. What's our weapon holding up? Oh boy, what are you? Blossom human cook. Why is a cook want to fight me? We got our first leather gloves. Oh, I can't repair it again? Oh, because I don't have the whetstone anymore. Oof. It's going to become a problem quick. We're getting there, though. I just want to find some water, though, so I can go fishing. See what looks like blood on the ground here. Oh, there's some water. Try fishing out. I have enough stamina. Nope. Magnus the Magnificent just showed up. Why he'd want to approach me from the river. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You are not a normal person. You are a mage, sir. Ow. Woo! Got Magnus. All right, so we can do reduce movement time by 0.5, quick step. Sorry, Tokyo, I didn't mean to. It's with your nap. Smite. Target health range, weapon range, cast time, weapon speed, stability scales off 20%, main weapon damage. Holy damage ability. Cripple. Axe, sword, mace, dagger, or spear. This ability scales off 100% main weapon damage. I don't 
think it's Smite by the play of that or Quick Step. Ah, uh, we'll do Smite. And then we get six more points to spend. You'll gain 16 health at this level. Okay. Why are my stats lower than they were, I feel like? Non-physical damage by one, every point increased. Wait, what? Every point increases chance to learn a new recipe by 0.5%. Increases chance to craft items with magical properties. Reduce time to craft items. Every 10 points increases sight range by one. This is a game where all the stats matter. Reduce speed of gaining hunger, thirst, and bloodthirst. Improve chance to hear something. Improve fatigue regeneration. Increase amount of stamina regained through act. Rest action improves health regeneration per tick. It's like all of these matter. Alright, Magnus, give me your give me your gear. He's running around with a sickle. Alright, it's got a robe. I don't need to replace my shirt yet. Replace the hat, though. Quick quarter staff, often used by mages and travelers. Okay, so that's what we had gotten off him for a weapon. This ring makes its owner magnificent. Ring resist fire, intelligence four. Your ability's got 200. It's pretty cool. Our mace is getting cooked, though. It's gonna be out out of action soon. This was a very unexpected battle. Just wanted to try and catch some fish. fisherman here. Maybe I'll have some food for me. I just got a fishing rod. Certain pants at least. I don't need another fishing rod. I've already got one. Catch, I caught a fish. Where, where's the fish I caught? I guess I didn't catch a fish. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go back to sleep. So we're healed. Let's see what else shows up. I just want my guy to be healed up. What? Oh, that's rain. That's an interesting uh, animation for it. Possible to catch fish on Gleam River right now? Why is it impossible to catch fish right now? Because of the rain? There we go. I got a trout. Okay, this time I actually caught a fish. it, huh? Butcher it first, and then we'll eat it. I'm sure it'd be better not to eat it raw, but... Beggars can't be choosers, am I right? Alright. So, we've got another exclamation point up here. Let's see if we can head up that way. I'm betting Magnus the Magnificent was the exclamation point before. Oh, what is on my ass? Hunting Hound. Ah. 
Uh, this is problematic. Ah, you were annoying. Uh, not catch fish. We wanna... Why can't I skin it? Alright, well... Oh yeah, rest until healed again. What is that? Walking... Oh! A bee. A frickin' bee. Oh god, what is this? A fire beetle. What was that? AoE flame ability? Oh, so I can skin the fire beetle. Stamina to try this, try resting. All right, let's try resting until healed again. <laughs> oh my god. Like, got a skeletal warrior and a human here now. My mace is gone. I'm using a knife. Thankfully, I have a bunch of knives. Why would I not use a dagger? There's two skeletal warriors here. One's an archer. I don't require... why I went after that archer first. So I knew I'd be super effective against him specifically. Get out of here. Getting a bit absurd. For both bear, some arrows. Hey, we got a hatchet. Alright, well, we haven't gotten very far from the river yet. <laughs> now we can gather here. Can I gather from? All right, let's try sleeping again. Couldn't make it till we were healed all the way. Hopefully it's just a skeletal warrior. Which now we can deal with those pretty easily. Speaking of, healed me please, thank you. So close. Okay. 
Finally healed up all the way again. Trying to get to here, which is almost straight north now. Ah, oh boy, here we go with the beetle again. up fire beetle shell okay straight ahead getting annoyed by how many beetles we're seeing out on weight, huh? What is this? Fire beetle shell. Item parry plus two. Oh, I can use it as a shield? <laughs> it's a great sort. A light source. What's that look like? That's kind of cool. Definitely gives me more visibility. Ah, uh, recipe using this. All right, we've learned the recipe for a mask. Honestly, the fire beetles barely hurt me now. Right now, stamina. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Edwina, a human druid. to immobilize me but failed. I've got this fight. Hey, there we go. Choose one new ability. Shield slam, backstab, or shield wall. Attack with a shield that deals 14 to 21 physical damage and knocks back an enemy five tiles. Change position with target and attack it from behind, dealing physical damage. And shield wall, stand your ground with shield raise, reduce incoming damage by five. Interesting. I like shield wall would be the best use for me.
All right, we got a robe. Ooh. When you kill someone or something, you acquire souls, which in turn allow you to gain power, blue bar at the bottom of your screen. So this is the souls bar. Turn yellow, you can... Blue bar at the bottom of your screen indicates how much more is required for you to advance whenever you level up. <laughs> Salvage. Always be an ability for your chosen profession. The second will be determined randomly on every level. You will also gain six points to increase your statistics. Okay. We got a druid staff. Damage 5 to 11... Where you going, Archer? Oh, mass stamina. It's all gun ho to kill this guy, and I can't even catch up to him. Get out of here. What is this? Oh, uh, just a body. Alright, how are we doing? Beetles getting worn down, the daggers getting worn down. Alright, where's our next exclamation mark? Way over there? Oh well. Let's go to the water and get ourselves a drink first. We've got a succubus here. get 17 raspberries to eat up <sighs> oh succubus gonna come at us no, it knows its place. Succubus knows it would stand no chance against us. Oh, what was that? Stone. Perfect. Needed one of those. I have a couple of stones. The reason we're grabbing the stones is because then I can make stone knives. What I want is a stone axe. So we got a ways down the road to go. Oh boy, more beetles. Copper ore. I feel like it is. That. Stone again? That's a chicken egg. Mind if I do? It's this. Energy potion. 
and a bandage. I can now learn how to craft an energy potion. A bear tasting potion for, of energy restoration. Restore stamina. Alchemist table, an empty vial, wheat grain, and an apple. Cool. Uh, something's coming up on me. Are we going through a tunnel? Is that what's going on here? underground tunnel. Where there's a bunch of file fire beetles. What is that? A dwarf guard. Interesting. Why is the dwarf guard not fighting all these beetles? Problematic. Hand axe of locusts. I want that hand axe. Reeves, too. Alright, we need to drop items for that. Drop the apron. Drop this worn through shirt. Drop the dagger. Up the axe. Intentionally just attacking with the axe so that I don't use up my stamina as much. Okay. It's annoying but effective. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna rest here. I'm gonna skin one of these beetles. Get ourselves a new shield. Who can't pick it up, huh? I like those ones are worth holding on to. Get rid of our straw hat. It's still too heavy to pick up. Got multiple shields, and this one's too heavy, huh? too heavy.
There we go. Get rid of my bone piles. Oh my god. I'm not trying to intrude in your minds. I'm just trying to get to wherever that is. What's that? until he healed, but somebody found his way over here. Got Ragna, Dwarven Miner. A shield. of the giant mind if I do head candle deadly shirt I don't know what makes a shirt deadly but we'll put that one on I want this pickaxe Come on. So far, another dwarven miner. Shield up. Smite to the. Whew. All right. Dead. Shirt of the apprentice. He had a torch with him as well. Back to sleep. I want normal sleep so I can get back the fatigue. Why can't I drink water here? Clearly next to water. Oh, we've reached the exclamation point. We probably got another boss here coming up. Can we go fishing here? No. Oh, what is this? mine here <laughs> right we do have the pickaxe now Like I'm gonna get myself killed in here.
guy's trying to run away. Oh, you turn around now. I want to be able to mine too, guys. Look at that. I got some gold ore. I can't pick it up because it's so heavy. <laughs> uh oh. I don't think they might like me mining out their walls. Shield's gone. Oh, because the axe takes up the other slot? Oh, because I'm using a different weapon now. My other axe is broken. The next best thing, I guess. I want to figure out who this other guy I'm supposed to kill is, but figure it out eventually. Um, guess why I just said like sleep. Oh, who was that? I don't know if you saw there. Uh, there I go. That's a person for me to worry about right there. They have more health. Not you. It's not an appropriate time, buddy. I was getting ready for a fight with this guy. Now I don't wanna. <laughs> trying to take advantage of the fact that he's just hanging out in this room. Oh, there we go. Whoa. What was that? Oh yeah, I met my match. <laughs> Your score for naive advanced position 2590 on top scoring fallen knights leaderboard. Score 40 of advanced position of 10262 on souls gathered leaderboard. Managed to survive three days, 11 hours in the mortal realm. You gathered 40 souls of 40 of mortal beings. You learned two recipes. You broke three weapons and five wearable items. Burn 2,400 stamina. I discovered 4% of the world regions. Final score is 490 on normal difficulty. Well, that was uh, pretty good. I was killed by... Elring! Mountain Splitter. There's a legend of dwarfs the young Elrings was buried alive in the mines under the mountain. With his enormous strength, he punched straight through the stone and the mountain split in half, saving both him and his fellow miners. He had troll fang necklace, divine fur cape of the apprentice, breastplate, plate gloves, brass greaves, plate boots, and battle axe of the saint. I wonder why he killed me. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, my first ever run in Soul Ash. Definitely an interesting game. Uh, very good roguelike. 
The world is interesting. The one complaint I have is, holy crap, there's just people and things everywhere in the overworld. Um, or in the map. Like, you, you cannot full rest without having something walk up on you and attack you. It definitely ga makes the game very challenging, um, even on normal difficulty, just to, like, keep your guy topped off. Healthy. Calm down. There you go. Ow. Freaking cat. Got her claws in me. Yeah, that's it for Soul Ash, guys. If you like this one, there'll be a link to the Steam page in the description down below. And that's going to be it for this one. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.